Hey guys, this is the introduction to R part 11. In this part, we will deal with the data file that are large. So, at first, let's try to read some big data file. Head.kv from C drive where we have an external data set. And the data sets name is how one text and the data file has header. Yeah, let's see what the data file is. It's a big one, so let's try to pull out the variable names of data one. Yeah. Now suppose we want to work with only first variable, so it's run. So we try to pull up run from data one. The command is data one dollar sign and run. You see, or we could try dollar sign density. Does the same thing. Okay, as this is a big file and the variable is as well big as well. Let's try to see first five of whatever is in density, or we could omit the column name. Instead, we put the column number that will do the trick. Now try to see what is density. Oops, density is a function in R. Okay, let's try another way. Attach data one. Now try density. You see, the density is recognized as a variable once you have attached the data file. So we can do our analysis using the variables directly instead of putting some other names or extracting it. So let's try some graphs. Try histogram for density. Just like this. Okay, let's just keep doing this. This is our graph. Yeah. Or we could use log density of density. It is like this. This is a classic example why we should not use the variable names like the R commands because it's too confusing. So we will try to find the summary of density. Just like this, we say that maximum is two. So let's try something else. Let's try two. Yes. Density and five. Now, now try the summary of density two. Let's see the maximum is five. So we do something. We do the box plot of density. It's a box plot because in density the maximum was 2 and here the maximum is 2 as well. Let's try box plot for density 2. You see the maximum is 5, but that's identified as an outlap. So you see the box plot can be used as a tool for identifying the outlets as well. To, to deal with the outliers, we can 
try to identify which is it like say here the maximum is the outlier we can do something else right we can try to delete the last element of density 2 where is the maximum so we sort it first see and the last element is deleted notice that we have dealt with the density 2 not the density itself the, in the density 2 we have deleted the maximum value by sorting it at first then deleting the highest element that means the maximum so in the box plot of density 2 for this modified analysis we get 2 as our maximum so this is how we can deal with our outliers if there were more outliers we could use and reuse this comma again and again to get rid of the maximums or if there were minimums we could just put one here if there is minimum so that's it for part seven of introduction to R.